So I'm Sarah Carson. Um, I am a flight instructor at Western Michigan University. I've been teaching for about three years now. I love it. Learned a lot so far and I'm excited to be racing. I'm Elizabeth. I am a senior here at Western. I graduate at the end of the month. Super excited. I double majored in aviation flight science and administration and I am a student dispatcher here at the college. I am also beyond pumped to be participating in this year's Air Race. Our college at Western Michigan University has three separate programs. Uh, we've got administration, maintenance, and aviation flight science. Um, we are third largest in the country, and our university as a whole has about 25,000 students. We haven't sponsored a team in a couple of years now, so there's really no better time for us to get out there and do it. Um, it's our 75th anniversary this year at the College of Aviation, uh, which has been going almost as long as the Air Race Classic itself. The first Air Derby was in 1929. The Aries Classic itself was started in 1977, so that's pretty awesome that we are representing Western this year. They are really big in encouraging and educating current and future women pilots, which is awesome because there are so few of us out there. So to see um, 50, over 50 teams being represented this year of women pilots is pretty awesome. Diversity is definitely among Western Michigan University's core values, and that kind of uh, runs along the same course as the Air Race Classic itself, uh, just supporting the pioneering spirit of women in aviation. So we really want to get out there and just spread the message that we're here to do a job and have fun doing it. So this year there are over 50 teams racing. We are actually one of 13 collegiate teams, which is pretty perfect because we haven't uh, had a team from Western here in six years, so that's pretty awesome. We are actually starting out in Concord, California. We leave this Sunday from Battle Creek, Michigan. So the race itself is from Concord, California to New Cumberland, Pennsylvania. It should take approximately 18 hours for us to get there, but you know, we'll see. Hopefully hit those tailwinds pretty soon. <laughs> Our uh, race route itself is just shy of 2,400 miles of timed race distance and uh, there are all different types of airplanes competing. Uh, the way that it works is you start with a handicap qualifying speed and you're consistently trying to beat your qualifying speed. Uh, it's based on a point system so we're gunning for points. Uh, there are also things factored in professionalism, safety. Um, if you do anything to compromise those you're going to get docked points so it's really about just doing the best that you can do within reason and being a good pilot. Okay, so the race this year hits over nine states. We start in California, go up to Oregon, down to Nevada, then we head over to Wyoming. We have two stops in Nebraska this year. After that, we go to Iowa City, Danville, Illinois, which is kind of near Urbana and Springfield, so middle of the state. Athens, Ohio, and then our final stop is in New Cumberland, Pennsylvania. So this is pretty sweet. We go from the Pacific to the Atlantic this year. I look forward to meeting our mother birds, actually, because they are veteran racers. They've what, raced three times, four times? Yeah, three or four times already. So they're going to have a wealth of knowledge for us, hopefully, that they're willing to share. And I've heard from previous racers that it's all about that camaraderie. Everybody seems to come together and offer those little bit of information and tidbits. That way, you know, everybody can run their own race, but do it well and safe. Pilot self and pilots. Um, I'm honored to be competing, not only representing Western, but also to be going up against 50 other teams. Um, it's gonna be awesome. I'm looking forward to learning everything and just having a good time. I'm pumped because I've heard from four or five of the racers already that it's an experience that you'll never forget and I'm only 23, so to see that so young, I think, is an awesome opportunity to be exposed to the industry and what else is out there. We want to thank the college and the dean and everybody else that's been out here helping us fly. Dominic and Pat, awesome. Guys have been awesome. Yeah. Our maintenance fleet, you guys are outstanding. Guys and gals are absolutely awesome. Um, working with us, giving us our little care package for the road, training us, um, 
you've all been amazing, so thank you. And the wealth of knowledge from everybody is pretty sweet.